Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we collected some rock blossoms for Tavern Keep Smith, and he turned that into zombie juice. And we also met with Jitters in the graveyard, and he said that he was hungry and he wanted some food, so we are going to make him some crab cakes, but they are actually made out of spider legs, so we're going to collect some of those as well, and then hopefully deliver those to him. We also have to deliver the zombie juice to, to the hermit, so we'll do that first. Yeah, guys, we're staying alive. Enjoying the new abilities, we're using Kidney Shot a lot. And, yeah, we're getting our alchemy up. Which is good, I guess. Oh my gosh. Level warrior... Level 33 warrior just died in Duskwood. That's rough, man. Guess who's in Duskwood? We are. So we gotta wait. We gotta stay awake, guys. Don't close your eyes in this place. This guy, that guy was level 33 and he died here. So, it goes to show you. Um, doesn't matter what level you are. I'd say 33 is a pretty damn high level to be in Duskwood. He probably got a little cocky. That's my guess. There's some pretty strong ogres to the south. There's also some pretty high level warmen as well. I probably kill them. Forget what it's what it said like what died to him or what killed him, but maybe eventually we can figure that out. Warrior's a tough hardcore character to level up. Pretty damn tough. Not bad if you're uh, getting a little bit of that dungeon XP, if you're a good tank. And you got like a solid group with you for those dungeons, that's probably not as bad. But just questing all your way up, by far the toughest class to level in Classic WoW. I leveled one on my uh, my first time playing Classic. My warrior. Tanked a lot. It wasn't that bad, it's actually pretty damn fast. And back in those days, you know, there was a lot of bugs that you could, you know, abuse to level faster. Like, you could have 10 people in dungeons. And I would play, uh, Melee Cleave with Shamans. We'd have Wind Fury and we'd just be wrecking everything. So, I wouldn't say I leveled the hard, you know, the old school warrior way. Okay, it looks like our inventory's full and that really sucks. Okay. That's not good, because we actually need this crispy spider meat. I I can't carry Bolt of linen cloth. We got so much junk on us, man. I want the, the meat, at least. And the silk, what's... Get rid of that. I gotta go to a vendor. Sorry, guys. Steaks were made. We're heading back to town. Could collect the legs and then go back. Not enough energy. So it's not like... You know, that bad. How many legs do we need for these crab cakes? Gather six gooey spider legs. Okay, we got the crispy ones. Problem with these spiders is they're gray. They give us legs. I just want to do the Jitters quest, because it's, it's a cool quest. Yeah, I guess we'll head back and then slay some spiders. If we don't get any gooey spider legs, then I don't know if we'll do that quest. It might be something we just hold on to. And if we see a spider, we will kill it and hope we get a nice gooey spider leg from him. Yeah, we might be 31 today, guys. Not getting any gooey spider legs. I think we're picking the wrong ones. I think the venom spiders are good. I can see. There's one. Okay, so we got one. Um. 
Clean wolf flank, I guess. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing great today. Can really tell it's spring now. Stuff's starting to grow. I don't think we'll see any more snow. But I hope I, <laughs> hope I don't jinx it. It's May, you know what I mean? There shouldn't be any snow in May. That'd be ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Nice little dagger for us to sell. It's kind of sad because we're losing all of our stuff. I should just use like a something I'm never gonna use. Scroll of stam, scroll of strength. Oh man, I'm probably not gonna use any of these. Skeleton fingers. Yeah, we're collecting a lot of stuff. Spider icker. Maybe get rid of the spongy stuff. Okay, let's get start heading back down there. I gotta sell some junk. Did he do more Ladim? Oh, that warrior might have fought more Ladim at level 33. Coming from someone that did more Ladim at 28 on a warrior, don't do Eliza on a warrior. It isn't worth dying for. Lol rip. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Yeah, Eliza's pretty tough because she summons two schools and she's an elite. I'm not going to tell anybody who Eliza is, but if you've been in Duskwood, you'll know who she is. It's one of the tougher elites in the zone. I'm gonna be pretty patient with elites, man. Like, I'm clearly gonna be out leveling them, I'm not fighting them at the same level. Like, that's just silly. The thing about Moral Ladim is he he hits like he hits okay at the beginning, but you need to save a lot of your cooldowns for when he gets low because that's when he starts he goes berserk and he starts just hitting you very fast and you can just die in like three shots so if you're low and he's low you have to be topped off or he'll just he'll just destroy you in a Need couple a couple hits he'll speed up it'll shock you and you'll die that's why if i ever fight him i'm gonna use evasion when he's low and i'll give me 50 seconds of being able to dodge his hits um yeah, get rid of all this chunk. Zombie juice. Chris spider meat? I think we'll keep that because we can make the spider crap from it. Keep the leather. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're broke. Good, we're coming back. We are so broke, guys. It's a little insane how broke we are. Let me scroll protection there. We are super broke. We don't even have a gold. Remember we were like scrounging for some coin just to get Sinister Strike rank 5. But it was worth it. There's the guy who died. That was my highest tune I just lost. Yeah, that's rough, dude. You want to fight elites, man. Like, it's cool to do that, but... It's tough. I fought them all on my... On my druid. Like, solo. Like, one of the main things I do with my druid let's play, I made sure that I didn't group up... To do any of the fights. I also didn't group up to do dungeons. Some people didn't enjoy that I did that, though. They were like, well, I, don't, I understand, like, why... You, you're doing what you're doing, but I think you should group up. And then I stopped doing that. I stopped grouping up with people, and I... Well, I started grouping up in the other Let's Play. In the TBC one. And then people are like... I have somebody say, Hey, I think you're, like, not interested in it. <laughs> interested in the Let's Play as much. Because you're grouping up with people. Not, not that I... Because I was grouping up with people, but I don't know. Maybe just got the vibe that I'm not as interested. But... The whole reason why I switched, I think I said at the beginning of the Let's Play, is because people wanted to see some group play. So I decided, hey, you know what? If there's a quest that tells me to group up, I'm going to group up. And I'm going to do every dungeon. As many dungeons as I can. And that's what I did. Some people didn't like it, but 
Can't please everybody. I think grouping, group up, like group plays entertaining. I don't know, it's fun seeing people just react to stuff or just playing with other players. I, I enjoy group play, but I do also enjoy the challenge of, uh, of fighting a hard elite. So I guess I could, you know, try to mix the two. All right, so we're back out here again. We still need a bunch of gooey spider legs. Clearly they're pretty tough to find. Drop rate is not very high. So I don't know if we'll be turning that in today. But we will keep an eye on these spiders. Out of and we will hopefully get five more legs. Good enough. Seems like there's a lot of crispy ones. Which is kind of silly. You'd think the crispy ones would be as good as the gooey ones, but... I guess not. What I'm hoping here is that by doing this quest chain, it'll eventually get up to my level. And then we'll, you know, get to do some quests where I get some XP out of it. And there actually might be a piece of loot that uh, could be pretty good for me. From uh, some of these future quests. There we go, we're starting to get a lot. Maybe we'll actually finish it. Yeah, I fought a couple of rares. I don't think I fought an elite yet on this rogue. Like we slayed a rare wolf. All right, so one more. One more leg. That actually went pretty quick. Oh, I got a dog over here. Like I honestly can't wait to try playing, like, a Tauren mage. I think that would be so funny. <laughs> Just blinking around as a giant cow. I honestly don't know what's more funny. Seeing a cow stealth around, or seeing a cow blink around. Ooh, what edged bastard sword. Two-handed. Gonna be selling that bad boy. And that should bring us over our gold, which would be nice because in 10 levels we'll be able to get a mount, but I don't think we will be getting one. Not ready yet. But we gotta start somewhere, right? I need to get it. It's crazy how that warrior died to Morladim at 33. I think Morladim is, what, 35? I don't know why the heck he would fight him makes no sense. He's better to fight on a range class. That's why hunters are so amazing. They're elite destroyers. Like, if you play a, a hunter, like, you're gonna wreck elites. Any melee class is gonna have a tough time. Okay, so we got a wild steel bloom up here that we're gonna pick up. Where the heck is it? Oh, damn it. 
supposedly right here. It's in the tree, isn't it? It's one of those herbs. It's one of those inside the tree herbs that you can't get. Yeah, it's too bad. Okay, we're getting out of here. Get the briar thorn. Alchemy's going up though, we're at 162. Can't wait till we start crafting the really good pot. Is this gonna be another inside the tree herb? I hope not. Okay, good, it's not. This wolf's gonna interrupt us though. Nope. Too high of a level for him to him to want to bug us. Alright, so let's sprint over to the hermit's house. And we'll see what he's doing. Got another briar thorn up here. Nice little black widow spider. Wonder if he's got any spider legs on him. Bring him over to the juice delivery. I have a feeling King's Blood's used in the, I need the health pot. One of the health pots. I hope it is, because we have a lot of it. We're back at the cemetery. I gotta find his hut here. It's usually around here, right? What the heck? That's back here. I can find it. You need something? I need that zombie juice to keep me warm on these cold dark nights. Did you get it for me? A thousand thanks, double seven. You warm an old man's heart. With your foolish, I mean, with your kindness. <laughs> Here you are, friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. You live so far from the protection of town. It's a wonder the ghouls and the walking dead haven't eaten me. In fact, just yesterday a pack of bone chewers was pounding on the walls of my house. I want to make an effigy, a kind of scarecrow for ghouls. To do that, I need some ghoul ribs. You can get them from flesh eaters, bone chewers, brain eaters, rotted ones, and plague spreaders. Get the ribs for me. I will repay you with some coin. See you later. All right, see you later. Sounds like a nice old man. Even though he called us a fool. Nope, found a chest. There we go, we got our last gooey leg. Let's see if we get anything good in this chest. Come on, doggo. Didn't have to do that. Inventory is full. Inventory's full already. You gotta be kidding me, man. Must be picking up a lot of junk. Spider pelp. Linen cloth we don't want. Just take to keep the bolt. Linen cloth really isn't worth a damn thing. How many uh, 
these potions we can make. Not enough to get rid of all our Briar Thorn. Alright, so here we are back inside Ghoul Land. Let's do our best to uh, stay alive here. We got all our gooey spider legs, which is good. I'm gonna learn a new recipe for that. Imagine dying to these things. Look at these little worm worms. Okay, so we're gonna have a bite to eat. Guess we will eat some of this omelet. Probably should have this Murloc fin soup back. There's less of it. So I'll put that here. There we go. We got another buff. I can't do that yet. It's also kind of crazy fighting elites higher than you. Like you're missing hits. You don't have a lot of a lot of hits or a lot of hit when. Uh, like, while you're leveling up. Like, your gear just doesn't have hit on it at all. So trying to fight something that's a higher level than you, especially when it's an elite, pretty much asking to die. Unless you're playing, like, a class like a hunter, where you don't really, you know, you can just use your pet. Even that's pretty damn risky. But at least when things get bad, you can just faint death. Yeah, if I, re I recommend, like, being at least the same level as the mob. So you don't have to worry about hit. Alright, so let's deal with these, uh, that ghoul's trolling down. Deal with this one. It's nice having double stun. But I think... Going in with a slice and die. Oh, kick that. Okay, there we go. Forgot about the Plague Spreader's debuff. That's the last thing we want. I'm trying to do it again. He's going to get it off. We don't have a kick up. Could have gouged. Could have used my combo points to use Kinney Shot. So we could have stopped it, but. I wasn't thinking. Try it on this guy. Actually, he won't even use it. Because he's already up. That's another bad thing about it. Is uh, when you have it up on you, he just chooses to swing. Instead of... Um, I'm out of rain. Instead of actually like casting for like two seconds. So what are they doing here? They got... These guys don't have the the hardcore buff, so gotta watch out for these guys. They may not be hardcore. So we're gonna try to stay away. So the last thing I want them to do is uh, pull a bunch of stuff, run away, and then it, the egg grows to me. That's okay, because I could just vanish. Who knows, maybe they're leveling hardcore together. Since they don't have this, Soul of Iron, you really never know. Yeah, I forgot about the ghoul fangs. Need some more of those as well. Yeah, we've been... Guild's been practicing on the PTR. Trying to do uh, Sunwell bosses, and they're actually pretty tough. We've only got two down on the PTR so far. Which is uh, Brutalis and Caligos. Third one's not too bad, but... You do have to get used to it. I forget the name of the third one. He's kind of like a plague dragon. 
He like fly puts a dot on people that needs to be dispelled immediately. Or the the raid like loses too much mana. And like you just fall behind in healing and you end up wiping. And then there's uh there's a mechanic where he uh you gotta watch out here. Mechanic where he flies in the air and he puts like a bunch of uh smog like clouds of flag and if anybody's in it they will uh, immediately get mind control and then you have to kill them so no one can get hit by that kind of reminds me of uh anixia's when anixia does her like fire ability but this like when she flies in the air and then you have to be a, you know, on the other side of it. If you get hit, it'll take a bunch of damage. The thing about Anixia's, like, fire breath is usually it's not fatal, depending on the class you are. But this uh, plague seems to be pretty bad. And we were just trying to figure out, like, how to avoid it. Oh, wow. Timmy. Timmy! Died in Westfall level 16. No, Timmy! <laughs> oh. Who is this guy? Got a nice polar bear. He's an HC Echo. He's hardcore. Level Z 29. Not a bad level to be while in the gra graveyard. Yeah, back to what I was saying. We're trying to figure out how to avoid it, like where to stand. He puts it's there's like pretty much three layers. He puts it in the middle, he puts it in the north, and then the south. So you just gotta figure out like where he's going to shoot it. Where it's gonna land. And we found out that supposedly every time he's on the the west side, it's always to the north in the middle, and then so we should stand in the south, and then when he's over on the east side, we should stand in the north. So we're going to give that a try. Get PTRs up. But yeah, I think a lot of guilds are probably run into some trouble in that raids. You'll probably see some guilds break up. Especially if they're not doing any... Uh, any research or practice. They're going to have a rough time. Even the trash is a pain. Like, you pull the trash wrong, there's these, like, blood elves who run to these, like, fell-infused robots. And if they get the robot fully, like, charged, you, they just wreck you. So you need to watch out for that as well. do that yet. So what you want to do is, like, what I do as a rogue, I, uh, I like do this. Nice. I use distract. There we go, 31. Whoop. So yeah, I use distract, he stands there, and then a bunch of range come up, they count down to five, and they blow him up. And he doesn't get to, like, you know, get the, the robot off. And then we clear the trash. The problem is, with our, our guild was having trouble, like, lining up and counting down to five. <laughs> Which was hilarious. So, because everybody has a different cast time, right? I don't have a target. And not all, and, and also everybody has a different um, range on their spells. So, my buddy who's an Ellie Shaman, he runs, does the ray leading. He goes, okay, everybody stand on me. Count down to five. Like, do Ray Tyrell. Five, four, three, two, one. And the, so the mages would just always pull. And it's because they just didn't have the range that the shaman had. And then he was, like, snapping, going, like, why are you guys pulling? Like, what the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> and uh, they're like, I don't know, we don't have the range. And he was just like, all right, just 
don't don't do anything then and then we also had like people we, we had a boomkin who like i guess starfire doesn't take as long doesn't take five seconds to cast so like his his cast would just come out too early like two seconds early and then he would end up like running away and getting off uh the ability that charges up the fell infused robot Yeah, we were having trouble with the trash, guys. And it's good we got through through that, because wiping on trash is, really sucks. Yeah, it's nice we're level 31. We sh don't want to forget about upgrading our abilities. So we have sword spec. Okay, we're going to use Blade Fury. Flurry. It's nice that we got this ability now. We can now fight two enemies at once. And we'll try that today. Guess I'll use it here. I'll probably change the key bind eventually. But we'll try to pull two, two mobs. And then we'll light them up with Blade Flurry. Inventory is full. Enchant weapon. What's this enchant? I can't it doesn't really matter. It's not like we can enchant anything. Okay, we got two ghouls right here. We're going to give this a try. I have to pop evasion, whatever. Let's try Blade Flurry, guys. Oh, well, I'm still on. Too many. Should you try Blade Flurry here? Okay. I'm gonna pop evasion. I'm gonna use Blade Flurry. Good. I'm gonna switch. I should kill him. Good. And get him down. Okay, see how powerful Blade Flurry is, guys? Insane. Same power. There's a health pot. Should have took taken this ability a long time ago. So we're done with the ghoul fangs. Question is, do we have the ribs? Four ribs. I think we need seven ribs. Yeah, great ability, guys. You use that. You just wreck. It's really like one of the best rogue abilities for combat rogue. Like if there's a three pack or a two pack and I use that, my damage is just insane. Like, I'm like almost doing double damage on the next DPS. Is full. And it only hits uh, an additional target, so it's it's one it's really the best against two targets, but even three you're doing a ton of damage. Ellie shamans do a lot too against three targets from chain lightning. Yeah, I would say rogues are probably the best. Cleave in the game. They have the best cleave in the game against two targets. You add any more, you get destroyed by warriors, Inventory is full. mages, warlocks. Warriors' whirlwind is pretty insane. It's hard to hard to compete with a warrior. And that's why a lot of guilds these days, in TBC, they don't even use rogues because why use a rogue when you can have a warrior? Kind of how they look at it. And the more warriors you have, the faster you get up uh, expose arm, expose armor, sunder armor, which is what they use. And uh, sunder armor isn't as strong as expose armor, but you have like three, four warriors, and they just all expose like once. I mean, all sunder armor once, then they are easily going to. Uh, get their, their five stacks of Sunder Armor up, and then Exposed Armor is just like a little bit better. So it's not really worth having a rogue. How are you? But uh, rogues do bring like some utility, like like what I was saying earlier. The, See you know, right. Distract is nice, man. Having Distract is solid. It saves, saves what can raids I do sometimes. So if your raid's in trouble, a pack's coming, you got nothing to do. 
You can't stop. You want to stop it quick. Throw that distract and, you know, you save your guild a little bit of time. I think I hear a pack of ghouls scurrying around at the back of the house. I better put that effigy up quick. Did you get those ghoul ribs for me? Oh, thanks. These will do the trick. A few weeks ago, I was picking herbs far from my house, and a band of ogres attacked me. I ran, and I was forced to leave behind a crate of precious tools and herbs. After they chased me off, the ogres swaggered back to the ogre mound in southern Dustwood. I'm sure my crate is somewhere near the mound. Please, Devil 7, retrieve this crate for me. For I miss it sorely. Have a good one. Alright. Doing a lot of work for this guy. Don't think we'll be going to the Ogre Mound today. But, um... But yeah, who knows? Maybe we will. Nah, we're not gonna do it. It's too far away. It's like all the way to the south. It'll take us way too long. So it'll be over an hour if we do that. But it won't be too bad of a quest because we are stealth class. So I'm just going to take a picture here. Nice little graveyard background pick. Spooky, spooky rogue. Kind of want to get his face in there. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, hearth back to good old Darkshire, and we'll turn some quests in. Got a decent amount of XP today. Got a new level, got Blade Flurry. And I got that, uh, there we go, we're gonna get a new recipe today, I guess. Need help? Hail 007, did you get those gooey spider legs yet? Ah oh, yes, a nice clutch of legs you have there. Let me get these seasoned with my secret spices. No looking. And get them to skittering on a skillet for a while. And although dusty crab cakes are my specialty, and I won't give out the recipe, here's the recipe for a dish that's almost as good. Okay, so he gave us some crab cake recipe. Here we are, crab cakes a la Gural. So we got to return Light that to jitters. Time. We'll do that next episode. When we head down to the Ogre Mound, I'm a little worried about that. Hope we don't die. Alright, so can we make any of these gooey treats? Gooey spider cake. We don't have spider gooey legs. I wish they were the crisp, man. Should be the crisp legs. Okay, let's sell all this junk we got. Oh, those are the crab cakes. We're going to skip those. Large venom sack. Spider icker. A lot of valuable stuff we're selling. The wool. We still need wool. Guess we'll make some wool bandages. Why not? Did our first aid up. We're almost to a point where we're going to have to make a journey north and get a couple of uh, first aid books. So we can keep maxing out our first aid. I think we need only one book though, right? Pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we got this silver bar for one silver. I guess we'll keep the mutton chops. The silk. I guess we'll keep the silk too because we are eventually going to be making silk bandages. Yeah, that seems. Nope, oh, we got this mana pot. Get rid of that. Yeah, now we're at 214, Light guys. Bless you. Getting that gold up. Professions aren't cheap. That's for sure. All right, so let's turn this quest in. Light be with you. Bring to me ten gold fangs, ten skeleton fingers, and five vials of spider venom, for you shall chant a totem of affliction, which will harm those who attempt violent acts against you. Very wise of you, 007. This totem of affliction will help you protect you against the evil which lurks throughout Azeroth and beyond. 
when you feel threatened, to hold this totem and take comfort in its magical aura. Be brave, fair rogue. You will need all the courage you can muster, for I see much bloodshed in your future. Ooh. Safe travels. So I guess she can tell our future. Can we read this other quest? King's honor, friend. Last night, a horrible disturbance rippled through my veins. I sensed that my granddaughter, Alyssa, was in great danger. I consulted the cards, and death stared up at me from the table. After taking a long journey through a dark trance, I was able to uncover a clue to this terrifying mystery. A na name came to me. The name is Stalvan. Seek out the clerk in the town hall and see if you can find more about this character. I fear it for us all. Farewell. A lot of spooky stuff going on. We got a lot of quests done. For almost four bars into 31. Which is pretty damn good. And we made some coin. 214 now. Next episode we will probably be heading over to the Ogre Mount. I'm a little worried about that. But uh, see how we do. Got stealth. So we shouldn't have to fight too many ogres. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.